So today I want to talk about something that I spoke about probably at the beginning of the year. And I, when we think about what's coming up, it's usually related to the lack of one or many of these four things. So if we're using any kind of food restriction, binging, um, purging over exercise, um, health avoidance, hesitance, whatever it is we're doing that's probably not serving us, even though it has a function underneath it all, it's really about seeking or lacking love, worth, significance, and safety. And, and one of those four combinations, one or all, and it's really important. So if you look at what is coming up that we're avoiding, and underneath that is something to do with one of those four things. So I want to give you a little bit of a clue of like, well, why am I doing this work? Well, nobody diets for fun. It's because we're trying to use our bodies as a, a visual representation, an object or whatever to contain the lack, contain the too much, and to try to, what's the better word? To try to use a faux substitute for what was missing. So if you use your body, if you use trying to be in perfect health, if you try to use fitness, if you try to use, um, fit, yeah, thinness, um, to earn one of these four things, you'll never get there. If we eat or totally disconnect from our bodies and we don't know what we're reaching for and it's not a right match and and we're not even able to use the information we know would help us in a um, a way that's of service without being obsessive, that's a way of feeling acutely that lack and trying to get away from it as well. So that's what I wanted to bring up today to see how deep you've gotten to your practice this week with, with all this. And so I'm going to have... Two little things before I sign off here is that thank you, Mary. Yes, that's what you're dealing with. I you needed this one. I'm really glad to hear that this is landing for you. And take a minute to notice like what more insight is there and what's missing for you. Before we is like before I sign off, I want to ask, you know, answer one last thing is that I did a little survey a couple of weeks ago asking, would people be interested in some mini courses? And we're talking like a one one to two at most three hour thing um, because I have so much content that I've honestly created over the last 15, 16 years that you shouldn't be just sitting around in my Dropbox, but it's enough to actually fill up quite a bit of time. So in a, in a very deep way, it's not just fluff and here's your worksheet kind of stuff. Um, it's, you know, basically group uh, nutrition counseling stuff. So um, the two most, two, the two big ones that people brought that they would be interested in actually there were three. So it was gut health and the intersection with chronic dieting and disordered eating and, um, movement, exercise, fitness kind of stuff. And how do we learn how to move these bodies without it being obsessive? And then lastly, people brought some hormone stuff and PCOS. So, um, I got plenty of stuff for that. Plus, I do want to talk about burnout. I think it's really important given the year we just had. But honestly, just in general, especially if you are somebody who uses chronic movement and busyness to um, avoid emotion. I think that's really important. So we'll be talking about those topics in the next, you know, over the course of the next three months probably. And you'll have links to like do be part of a more private Q&A with it all. So anyway, that's coming up. I'm not sure the order of all that yet, but that's coming. And I just want to thank all those who are here live with me. I really appreciate you. Please put any comments or questions you have below. Tag me especially if it's like, Trace, I really want you to answer and look at this. Um, so it's really important that you reach out if you need it. Um, if you need a group space, we have a peaceful eating community. If you need to reach out to me one-on-one, -on -one, please do that. Don't, again feel like if you've been trying to do this on your own a really long time and it's working but not all the way then sometimes we we all have blind spots so that's really important so remember again today what's missing it's probably fe feelings of love safety worth significance that's underneath what's coming up what we're avoiding so i would love to hear more about it for you so thanks so much for watching and i will see you in monday's video bye for now